Today, I'm going to tell you all the known side effects of the corona vaccines. Most of these side effects are common to all major coronavirus vaccines including Pfizer, Moderna, Janssen, and Oxford AstraZeneca. And we can't ignore the blood clotting cases reported with AstraZeneca and Janssen vaccines. The Sputnik V vaccine by Russia and the Chinese vaccine Sinopharm will also feature in this video. So, if you are looking for an evidence-based, unbiased video about the side effects of the corona vaccine, you are going to enjoy this video. Minor side effects are good signs. Immediate side effects are pain at the site of the injection, fever, fatigue, headache, muscle and joint aches. I consider them as good signs because they indicate that the vaccine is working and generating an immune response. These symptoms can last up to 48 hours and relieved with simple analgesics. Rarely, mild bruises or hematomas can form under the skin at the injection site. To prevent this, the nurses will advise you to apply firm pressure at the injection site for 5 to 10 minutes. Immediate, major side effects of the vaccines. Though it's rare, like any other vaccine, COVID-19 vaccines are allergenic for some individuals. This can manifest as body itching, body rash, or lip swelling. Anaphylaxis is a life-threatening allergic response with low blood pressure and spasms of the respiratory tree. Fortunately, this is very rare. People who are susceptible to allergic reactions are vaccinated under medical supervision. Right, let's talk about the rare, serious side effects of the vaccine. 168 individuals out of the 21.2 million people who received the AstraZeneca vaccine in the UK were reported to have developed blood clots. Six individuals from more than 6.8 million people who received the Janssen's vaccine in the United States were reported to have developed similar clotting events. As a percentage, that is only 0.0008%. The risk of getting blood clots from the corona disease itself is 10 times higher than getting it from vaccines. So, what do we know about this disorder? It is called thrombosis with thrombocytopenia syndrome. As these individuals form blood clots or thrombosis, while they have low platelet counts or thrombocytopenia. Some clots are observed in large veins in the head. This is called cerebral venous sinus thrombosis. Danger signs are blurred vision or severe headache. Clots can rarely develop in the deep veins of the legs. This is called deep vein thrombosis. Danger signs are painful swelling of a leg. Chest pain and shortness of breath could indicate a clot in the arteries of the lungs. This is called pulmonary embolism. If you are pregnant, below 30, or have a clotting disorder, inform your doctors so they might suggest you an alternative vaccine. Both the Janssen vaccine and the AstraZeneca use an adenovirus as a vector to introduce genetic material. In contrast, both the Moderna vaccine and the Pfizer vaccine are mRNA vaccines. They are not considered to cause blood clots. China's Sinopharm vaccine injects an inactivated coronavirus called bbipv v so far, it is not reported to cause clotting disorders. So, what about the Russian vaccine, Sputnik V? Though it's a vector-based vaccine like the Janssen's and AstraZeneca, Russian scientists claim that the Sputnik V doesn't cause blood clots. Since benefits outweigh the risk, I took the AstraZeneca vaccine. If you are a critical thinker in the field of medicine, comment why you would or wouldn't take the jab.